Hey everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to mod your Rocksmith 2014 and start playing custom songs, CDLC, for free. First, download RS Mods. This enables custom content and lets you play without the official cable. Link is in the description. Then, install the CDLC enabler. It's required to make custom songs work. To find songs, go to Customs Forge. You'll find thousands of user made tracks. You can even check out the CDLC archive for old or delisted DLCs from the store. If you're using RSASIO and your amp doesn't show up as input or output, like it didn't for me, just use VoiceMeter to fix that issue. Link is also in the description. When you install RS mods, you might see a blue Windows warning that says, Windows protected your PC. Don't worry, this just happens because the installer isn't from a verified publisher. Just click More Info and then press Run Anyway to continue the installation. RS Mods is safe. Many players use it to mod Rocksmith without any issues. Once you open the RS Mods installer, you only need to press the Click to Use Mods button once. Check mark that's it, the mods will be installed. When you run the RS2014 CDLC installer.x, Windows might show a warning that says, Malicious file, this app may cause damage to your device. Don't worry, this is a false positive. Windows shows this because the app isn't from a verified publisher. If you downloaded it from Customs Forge, it's safe. Just click More Info, then click Run Anyway to continue. Press the Click to Unlock CDLC button once. RSASIO lets you use your own audio interface or amp instead of the official Realtone cable. Just download it, then copy the files and paste them into your main Rocksmith 2014 folder. Don't forget to open your sound settings, go to System Sound and set this for both your input and output devices that you'll use in Rocksmith, default format. Two channel, 16 bit. 48,000 Hz, DVD quality. Check mark enable both options under exclusive mode. This helps avoid crackling, latency, or audio not working. Now open RS Mods, go to the RSASIO Settings tab, and select your input, output, and mic devices. If your amp or audio interface shows up here, select it. But if it doesn't show up, like in my case, just select VoiceMeter Virtual ASIO as your input and output. That way, Rocksmith will still recognize your guitar signal through VoiceMeter. Show Gamepad UI, enables controller style interface, post-processing effects, extra visual effects like bloom, motion blur, etc. Real-time shadows, enables dynamic shadows, uses more GPU. High-resolution audio visualizer, sharpens visualizations tied to audio, like waveform bars. Depth of field, Blurs background to simulate camera focus. Per pixel lighting. More detailed lighting on 3D models. Anti aliasing. Smooths jagged edges in the graphics. Disable browser. Disables in game browser overlays to boost performance. Separate render resolution. Lets you render the game at a different resolution than your screen for performance tweaking. Audio settings. Latency buffer. This controls the delay between when you play a note and when you hear it in-game. Lower numbers equals less delay, better timing. But may cause audio crackling or glitches. If you hear noise or crackles, try increasing the buffer value step by step until the audio becomes smooth max output buffer. Sets how much audio is buffered for output. Higher equals smoother audio, but adds latency. Enable microphone. Allows your mic to be used in game. Exclusive mode. Gives Rocksmith exclusive control of your audio device, recommended for low latency. Force WDM, Force DirectX Sync. 
forces the use of specific Windows audio drivers. Try these if you have compatibility issues. Dump Audio Log creates a detailed log file of audio processing, useful for troubleshooting. Real Tone Cable Only forces Rocksmith to use the official Real Tone Cable. Disable this if you're using RSASIO or mods. Low Latency Mod tries to reduce input lag even further. Might cause crackling if your system can't handle it. If you installed Rocksmith on an SSD, make sure to enable Fast Load in RS Mods. This will make the game launch and load songs much faster. Since SSDs can handle data quicker than regular hard drives. Ok, now let's jump into Voice Meter and configure the settings. You can skip this part if RS Mods already detects your amp or interface correctly. But if it doesn't, like in my case first. In Voice Meter, select your guitar or amp as the input device, usually under Hardware Input 1 Foot. Then, go to the Output section and select your headphones or speakers as the output device. Now, your signal will pass through Voice Meter and show up in Rocksmith. Now I'll show you how to add custom songs or even official DLCs that have been removed from the store. First, go to the main CDLC site. You can also check the CDLC archive for older or delisted content. When you're browsing archive, press Ctrl plus F on your keyboard to open the search bar. Then type the name of the song or artist you're looking for, it'll help you find what you want a lot faster. After you download the songs, just copy the PSARC files and paste them into your Rocksmith 2014 DLC folder. Rocksmith 2014 DLC that's it, they'll show up in the game next time you launch it. Thanks for watching. By the way, there's no sound in video because OBS didn't capture the audio from Rocksmith.